Hi guys, in Google Classroom, you are going to go to this website and it's the moon phase calculator. And what you're going to do is you're going to put in the month that you were born and the year that you were born. And then you're going to press go. And then it will bring up the different moon phases. So you're gonna find um, the day that you were born and then you can see what phase the moon is in. And then down here it says, why does the moon have phases? And then here it says, at the new moon phase, the moon is so close to the sun in the sky that none of the side facing earth is illuminated. So you can see position one here in the illustration. In other words, the moon is between the earth and sun. At first quarter, the half lit moon is highest in the sky at sunset, then sets about six hours later which is at position three. At full moon, the moon is behind Earth in space with respect to the sun. As the sun sets, the moon rises with the side that faces Earth fully exposed to the sun, uh, sunlight, which is position five. And then here it says the moon has phases because it orbits Earth, which causes the portion we see illuminated to change. The moon takes about uh, 27.3 days to orbit Earth, but the lunar phase cycle from new moon to new moon is 29.5 days, or about 29 and a half days. So we usually just say about 30. The moon spends the extra 2.2 days catching up because Earth travels about 45 million miles around the sun during the time the moon completes one orbit around Earth. At the new moon phase, the moon is so close to the sun in the sky that none of the side facing earth is illuminated, which is position one in the illustration. In other words, the moon is between earth and sun. At first quarter, the half, half lit moon is highest in the sky at sunset, then sets about six hours later, right here. At full moon, the moon is behind Earth in space with respect to the sun. As the sun sets, the moon rises with the side that faces Earth fully exposed to sunlight, position five. You can create a mock-up of the relationship between the sun, Earth, and moon using a bright light, a basketball, and a baseball. Mark a spot on the basketball, which represents you as an observer on Earth. Then play with various alignments of earth and moon in the light of your imaginary sun. When is the harvest moon? The full moon that occurs closest to the autumnal equinox is commonly referred to as the harvest moon, since its bright presence in the night sky allows farmers to work longer into the fall night, reaping the rewards of their spring and summer labors. Because of the equinox, always falls in late September, it is generally a full moon in September, which is given this name. Although in some years, the full moon of early October earns the harvest destination. In fact, each full moon of the year has its own name, most of which are associated with the weather or agriculture. The most common names used in North America include the following. January, moon after Yule, February, snow moon, March, sap moon, April, grass moon, May, planting moon, June, honeymoon, July, thunder moon, August, green moon, September, fruit moon or harvest moon, October, hunter's moon or harvest moon, November, frosty moon, December, moon before Yule. What is a blue moon and when is the next one? Because the time between two full moons doesn't quite equal a whole month, approximately every three years, there are two full moons in one calendar month. Over the past few decades, the second full moon has come to be known as a blue moon. On average, there's a blue moon about every 33 months. Blue moons are rare because the moon is full every 29 and a half days, so the timing has to be just right to squeeze two full moons into a calendar month. The timing has to be really precise to fit two blue moons into a single year. It can only happen on either side of February, whose 28-day span is short enough time span to have no full moons during the month. 
The term blue moon has not always been used this way, however. While the exact or, um, origin of the phase remains unclear, it does in fact refer to a rare blue coloring of the moon caused by high altitude dust particles. Some sources credit this unusual event occurring only once in a blue moon as the true uh, progenitor of the colorful phase. Why do we always see the same side of the moon from the Earth? The moon always shows the same side, the same phase because Earth's gravity has slowed down the moon's rotational speed. The moon takes as much time to rotate once on its axis as it takes to complete one orbit of Earth. Both are about 27.3 Earth days. In other words, the moon rotates enough each day to com compensate for the angle it sweeps out in um, sweeps out in its orbit around Earth. Gravitational forces between Earth and the moon drain the pair of their rotational energy. We see the effect of the moon in the ocean tides. Likewise, Earth's gravity creates a detectable bulge, a 60-foot land tide on the moon. Eons from now, the same sides of Earth and moon may forever face each other as if dancing hand in hand. Though the sun may balloon into a red giant, destroying Earth and the moon before this happens. When does the young moon first become visible in the evening sky? There is no real formula for determining the visibility of the young moon. It depends on several factors. The angle of the elliptic, the moon's path across the sky with respect to the horizon, the clarity of the sky, how much dust and pollution gunks it up, and even the keenness of the observer's eyesight. The young moon becomes visible to the unaided eye much earlier at times when the elliptic is perpendicular to the horizon and the moon pops straight up into the sky. In these cases, it may be possible to see the moon as little as 24 hours after it was new, although every hour beyond that greatly increases the chances of spotting it. When the elliptic is at a low angle to the horizon and the moon moves almost parallel to the horizon as it rises, the moon probably doesn't become visible until at least 36 hours past noon. The record for the earliest claimed sighting of the young crescent moon is around 19 hours, although most experts are suspicious of any claims of times less than about 24 hours.